Hello friends, welcome back to Code Tonight. In today's video, we will see HTTP error 500.19 internal server error. So sometimes you will get this error when you will try to publish your ASP.NET web application on IIS server. So what I have done is I have created one IIS application here and I have published my .NET Core application and when I try to browse the application then I am facing the error HTTP error 500.19. So we will see how to fix this error. Now this error it can occur sometimes when you have incorrect web con config but uh, if your web config is correct so we will see what a correct web config will look like for ASP.NET Core web application. So basically your web config should look like this and here you must have ASP.NET Core module v2 and then we can see hosting model is in process and then we have ASP.NET Core path here okay so this is a web config that will look like and if it is correct then what you have to do is this error comes because you don't have hosting bundle installed in your system so whenever you try to run your asp.net core web application on IIS, you always require asp.net core hosting bundle for that so what you have to do is you have to know the version of your ASP.NET Core Web Application. So, for example, if I go to my project and uh, you go to project and right click on that and go to properties, you will be able to see the framework of the project. So, it, it is saying .NET Core 3.1. So, basically, we have to download .NET Core 3.1. Okay. And here you will download the ASP.NET Core Runtime 3.1 version because our project is based on that and we will download the hosting bundle from here. So you will click on the link here hosting bundle and then it will download the hosting bundle for .NET Core 3.1. So I have this already downloaded so we will just install that so I will double click on this and install. So you can see it is downloading ASP.NET Core Module version 2 which is installed or used by your web config also so that will help in running your web, web application okay so it will take some seconds to install and then we will run the application again. Okay, so it has now successfully completed and now we will just try to go to IIS server again and we will try to refresh the page. Okay, so you can see your web application is running now. So this is how you can solve your HTTP 500.19 error in SP.NET Core web application when published on IIS. Okay, so uh, thanks for watching guys.